everyone and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. In the southwest of England on a little industrial estate is a workshop and going on in that workshop are some magnificent creations, namely robots. I'd like to introduce you to Dave from Ace Robotics. Hey Dave, can you answer a few questions for us on robots? Excellent, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? No, I'm very well, thank you. Excellent, is this your workshop? It is. Uh, this is where we tinker, uh, do our lots of our welding, machining and bits and pieces. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, have a bit of fun. Excellent. Let's get inside and have a look around. So we're here with Dave and Daniel. And what's the name of this robot, Daniel? Mike. Mike. And is it Mike off of Monsters, Inc? Yeah. Excellent. So what's inside the robot then, Dave? Right, main thing for a combat robot is got to have a googly eye. Absolutely. Do you agree with that? Have a yeah. Eye. yeah, absolutely. I'm with that. Okay, so just from a maintenance aspect, we can then lift this one up. And what we have, we have a spinner. Okay. Which is about 13.8 kilograms. Wow. It'll go approximately 128 miles an hour. Okay. But we've actually taken that voltage down, so it only spins about 115 miles an hour because of safety in the UK. Okay. Um, it's powered by an M130 motor, which is approximately about 2.5 kilowatts of power. That is then basically switched on and off via contactor. And we also have a custom gearbox, and that has got a gear ratio of about 33 to 1, and this is basically for our whip. Now, you called it a whip. We call it a whip because it's not an axe, because it doesn't have a solid stem or handle. It actually flexes. Okay. It's more yeah. for a bit of fun. Okay. So we can change the actual head over. Um, we can put something heavier on there, something a bit lighter. But it's just cause a, a lot of noise and a bit yeah. of basic to have lots Chaos. of fun. Chaos. <laughs> Love it. Excellent. And two big knobbly tyres on here as well. So these are children's quad bike wheels. Um, the actual speed of a robot is probably about 18 miles an hour. Um, they are open to the elements, but they are basically sacrificial. We do carry plenty of spares if they do come off in the arena. <laughs> um, so we have a 33 to 1 custom gearbox for the axe, well for the whip. Um, at the back end, at right in the back there, we have some, they call them Bosch replacement 7, 750 watt DC brush motors at 24 volts. They're then on a 14 to 1 gear ratio from sprocket to sprocket, but we're also using a three speed Sturmy Archer hub from a bicycle so these are actually geared hubs as well okay that came from something uh, basically a team called Smidzy that basically attended the old regional robot wars um, we still own Smidzy which is just here on my right hand side but is in pieces at the moment um, but the actual technology in behind it was absolutely fantastic so we basically we backwards engineered what they did just so we can actually replicate them so that's what's actually driving the actual main hubs and so how heavy is this bot? This one's about 106 kilograms. You're allowed up to 110. Wow, so you're just on the limit there. And then how quick is it? It goes about 18 miles an hour. 18 miles an hour. So that's faster than I can run. Yes. This, this thing could potentially chase me down the road, but we wouldn't want that to happen, <laughs> would we? So. so the idea is, most of the arenas, the, um, the live events, there's one which is 12 meters by 12 meters. You want to be able to get from one side of the arena to the other within less than three seconds. Now the material is something called Hardux 450, which is a wear plate, or basically tank armour. Um, it's very hard to drill because it's full of carbon. We either get our stuff either water jet cut or laser cut, or you're there with some real slow speed, lots of coolant drilling holes. Okay. Or we also cut hard some of the holes with the plasma cutter. So this has got an armoured shell on the outside of it as well? Yes. Um, the design on the front is a wedge. Yeah. So this is just so we can take impact from other spinners. Yeah. Um, what you do not see uh, most of these of live events is robots with multiple weapons. So with this one, it has two. The most of the damage will be done via the spinning 13.8 kilograms of um, hard spinning around about 115 miles an hour. 
or we can just give them the sap with the actual whip. <laughs> and then all of this is controlled via a little handset, a joystick. So this is controlled via our RC controller. Um, Dan, if you don't mind getting the controller for me. Okay, Dan, what have you got in your hands here then? I've got an RC controller, which, which controls mic here. Excellent. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about this controller then. Yep, sure. So this is a 2.4 gigahertz RC controller. So what the actual basic controls of the robot, we have drive, which is left, right, forward and backwards. On this switch here, it drives the con it will switch the contactor for the actual main di uh, spinning disc. And the actual, we use this throttle here to control the actual whip. Okay, so the throttle controls the position of the whip. It does. So if you lift that, if you left that in the middle, the whip would stay straight up, would it? No. So it's been programmed with the end stops to be the ah. bottom, the back, at the back there. Okay. Forwards and backwards. Okay. But at the same time, we also have a, a custom programmed Arduino in there, and what that will basically do, it will switch between RC control to Arduino control. So then, what it will do, it will actually rotate the whip backwards and forwards. Fantastic. Dave, tell us, what do you do at Ace Robotic? Okay, so for a little bit of history, um, from the Robot Wars um, on BBC that we attended, um, I, had, I went to my son's school where I did a, a robot talk, um, and the teacher was really like, really, you know, she said there was a really good idea, can you come back next year? Um, we had some put some ideas together, so then we started doing some STEM work. Um, so we went into schools just playing with paper and straws and bits and pieces like this, talking about material types. Um, and then we actually thought, oh, well, we can actually do combine robotics with STEM. So we came up with something which is like Lego based because every child has got Lego and plays with it. I think all the dad, mums and dads absolutely love playing with Lego when they, when they were younger. <laughs> yeah. So we put basically a, a very low cost kit together, RC controlled. And the children can basically use their imagination. So it can be anything from a Mars rover robot all the way through to a small little combat robot. Um, so the idea is we put them through different challenges. Um, they can actually build up upon their robot. First they learn how the driving techniques. Um, then, they basically, then they can actually learn how to control, let's say, a, a tennis ball. All the way through to then um, actually designing their own weapons. Because Lego is very flexible. There's so many different pieces, the different shapes. So it just gives the children the ability to u open up, use their imaginations, but at the same time, think about what they're actually developing. Indeed, so they're getting a great education at the yes. same time. That's and it's marvelous. Good fun. Really good fun. Really good engineering education yes. there as well. And yeah. what really brings it together as well is seeing the families um, having fun together. So instead of them being home on a Saturday watching TV and their children playing on the Xbox, they're actually doing something together. Yeah. And it's a social skill as well. Yes, so. indeed. Well, I came to visit you at your office where you hold the event. Yep. And you've got your own little um, arena. Which, yeah, which is we basically call it the um, robot room. The robot room, um, indeed. Yeah. So it's a two metre by two metre combat arena. Um, it's meant for beta weight robots, which are about 1.5 kilogram. Um, but we use it for the Lego robots because it just gives the children the look and feel of a proper combat arena. Fantastic. And it's really good fun to see all of these kids getting stuck in and, uh, and, and working together with their parents as well We've and getting some guidance from the likes of engineers such as yourself and it's some really of the others. It's really good because it's where, when I was a child, I, I used to love playing with Meccano and Lego, but not just following the instructions, but just building my own thing. Yeah. Um, but just having the parents participate in that as well. So yeah. it's like, for example, today you had lots of children come down with their parents, the parents aren't just sat to the side um, having a cup of coffee, they're actually getting involved with their children. Indeed, yeah. Yeah, because Lego's not that hard to put together, right? Mm, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So tell us, Dave, have Ace Robotics got a website or where can people find you guys? At the moment, you can find us on Facebook. Okay. Um, really, We've got a really good page. We've got a lot of um, followers and stuff at the moment. Yeah. Um, we do have our own Twitter page as well, if you just type in Ace Robotics. Um, we will have a website very soon. Um, so if there's anyone out there who can recommend anyone that does a decent website, thank you. So we're based in Yates in Bristol. We're down the office doing the robot workshops nearly every weekend. Anyone can attend. Um, it's free. We do not charge because from us side of things, we, th we don't think parents should basically pay to get the children into STEM. It should be free. It should, it should be part of a government 
we know we need to get more engineers, more mathematicians into this industry. Yeah, yeah, so. exactly. And did I hear that you guys have got a bit of a, a help from the government recently? So at the moment we've just received the grants. Last year we basically ran something called Extreme STEM Events and we we're basically mentoring a lot of homeschool children and they were traveling from all over the UK to actually come down to us. Um, so what we wanted to try and do this year is to do something called um, Make It Sessions, but Make It Sessions online. You basically you can participate as and when you like. Um, the idea is we're going to make every month, we'll make a different kit, STEM related. It could be anything from electric buzzer game, maybe even to a mini robot. We don't know yet. So any suggestions would be absolutely great. Um, and what the idea is, we'll send those kits out once a month and then we'll do a two hour build session online through something called Adobe Connect and that's when everyone can get on their web cameras, on their laptops etc. We can all come together so we can chat via text, we have the video feed everything is then basically recorded so if you cannot participate at that actual session you can always come back at any point in time and actually watch the videos in that again. <laughs> That's absolutely magnificent so anybody can take part. Anyone can take part it's mainly aimed at different groups so if you want to start an after-school club if you have um, a homeschool children you want to participate in some STEM events the idea is, is, is to get not just the local community together but everyone in the UK um, really trying to promote STEM to try and basically get as many younger generation into STEM as possible it's fantastic you've got a great dad haven't you yeah yeah I agree he's awesome anybody if I was a kid and I had you as my dad teaching me robotics I would be so happy oh plus it's good fun as well yeah exactly yes. that's it's the really most important fun. thing it's good fun you have to have good fun yeah so. excellent excellent so the most important thing about combat robotics safety safety Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I hope it's been fun. Don't forget, check out Ace Robotics on Facebook. Watch out for their upcoming website in the near future. And uh, always give us a good old thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Perhaps check out one of our other videos. Cheers and beers all. Take care. Bye for now. Thank you.